Hello, Word Citizens. My name is Courtney, and I'm a brain education instructor from Boston. Today, I want to show you a 10-minute routine for calming stress. So let's get right to it. You can do this sitting on the floor or in a chair with your feet flat on the ground. And take a deep breath in your nose. Mouth exhale. Again, breathe in. And out. And just tell yourself in this moment, everything I feel is okay as you breathe in and out. Having stress is okay. I am okay. Now let's take our fingertips and start to tap around the temples. If you feel comfortable, close your eyes. Breathe in through your nose. Mouth exhale. I have stress. It's okay. Breathing out. I have stress. It's okay. Then tap right on top of your eyebrows. Breathing in. Breathing out. I have stress. It's okay. Then move your hands back and tap the outline of your ears. So up and around. Follow the outline of your ears. Breathing in. Out. I have stress. It's okay. Then come back to the back of your head, your occipital bones, and tap where your skull meets your neck. All around. As you breathe in. And mouth exhale. Breathing in and out. Then you can rest your hands down and start to shake your head and neck like you're saying no. As if to shake away your stress, clear your mind, to shake away excess thinking. Breathing in, out, Slowly stop, make a gentle fist, and start to tap your upper abdomen. From the perspective of chakras, this is where we hold how we feel about ourselves. So when we're stressed, this area can feel a little tight, a little tender. When you're comfortable, close your eyes, breathe in, out. I have stress, it's okay. Exhale out. I have stress. It's okay. And if you can, shake your head and neck like before. I have stress. It's okay. Good, now drop to your lower abdomen to help ground and center yourself. Take a deep breath in, out. And if you can, shake your head and neck. Breathing in. And out. Lastly, take your fingertips and tap your chest. Our chest is most responsive to stress, most easily blocked by stress. So tap right on your sternum. Exhale. 
Tap underneath your collarbone. Breathe out. Tap all around your chest. Close your eyes. Feel your body. Now tap your fingertips together in front of your chest. Close your eyes. Feel your fingertips. Breathing in. And out. Now if your chest is starting to relax, you can breathe in and out through your nose. And exhale slowly. Breathe in comfortably. Exhale slowly. And anytime your chest does feel a little tight or stuffy, mouth exhale. And you can stop, leave your hands in front of your chest a little open. Feel your hands. Feel your palms. Feel your fingers. Next time you breathe in, let your hands drift a little farther away. And as you exhale, let them come closer without touching. Breathing in open, move slowly, exhale close. Move with the natural rhythm of your breath. And feel your hands. On your next exhale, turn your hands away from you and push forward. Next inhale, turn your hands towards you and come closer. Exhale, push. Inhale, return. Once again, you can close your eyes and move with the pace of your own breath. Now, as you exhale, imagine pushing out what you no longer need. Breathing in. Breathing out stress. Breathing in. Breathing out worry. Breathing in and out. Now imagine as you inhale, breathing in what you do need, breathing in love, breathing out. Breathing in comfort. Breathing out. Breathing in self-compassion. Breathing out. Continue. Exhale what you no longer need.
Inhale what you do need. Bringing your hands back to your body, resting one on your heart center, the other on your lower abdomen. Breathe in, breathe out, and gently push your hands into your body, giving yourself support, care, and take a few breaths with your lower abdomen. Let it expand with the inhale. Relax with your exhale. Breathing in. Breathe out. Then gently sweep repeatedly from your chest to your lower abdomen. Inhale. Mouth exhale. How did it go? Please remember that stress is natural and it's okay to have stress, but it's also important to have ways that we can calm and relax ourselves when we notice that we do. I hope this video was useful. Please write in the comments below what you felt. And if you want to experience a full one hour of brain education, find a body and brain center near you. See you next time.